I get a lot of people who ask me to take the videos that I've done for WebDog and convert them into a file format that they can use on their portable media player. I haven't done this for, for a couple of reasons, but the basic one is that there's a lot of videos that I've done, and there's no way to tell what people are going to want and not want. However, that being said, this video I'm going to teach you how you can do it yourself. And you can do it for free and with no additional software. Yeah, I got your attention, huh? First thing that you're going to want to do is find a video. Now you can use a video that's already on your hard drive as a Windows Media video, AVI, MPEG, movie, whatever. Or you can find one on YouTube or any one of the other main services that are on the web right now. Once you have the video, you want to go to a website that is a video conversion website. There's lots of them out there. The two that I like the most are Vixie and Zamzar. Now, the reason I like both of those is that they're fast, they're free, and they don't require a login. So you can do this fairly anonymously, which is nice. If, if one site doesn't work, go to the other one. If the other one doesn't work, there's dozens of other sites out there. Those are just the two that I prefer. If it's a YouTube video that you want to take off of YouTube and save onto your hard drive, what you do is you just get the URL for the YouTube video. Once you do that, you paste that into the right section of Zanzar or Vixie. It's very easy to tell. And then you tell it what file format you want. And if you're doing this for a portable media player, you're probably going to want MP4. If you're doing this for your own, for just to save it for your own purposes, then take any file format you want to. But MP4 is the smallest file format with the highest quality you're going to get these days. Now, once you've done that, just hit the, just click the button that says uh, convert. And then one or two things will happen. If you're on Vixie, it'll, um, it'll convert it and then offer you to download. If you're on Zanzar, it'll convert it, and then once it's converted on its system, it'll send you an email that says, hey, you can pick it up now, and then you just go straight to their website and pick it up. There's other ways that you can do this as well. There's another video site out there that it'll rip out the basic FLV file from YouTube. The FLV is the base root file. That is the new video format that YouTube uses that's not really playable in any other media player other than Flash. Now, you can do this at the last resort. You can just rip the FLV file out, save it on your hard drive, and then convert it over from there. I don't really recommend this, but if you're in a bind and there's no other way that you can find to do this, that might be your best option. Now, the best part about all this is that a lot of these conversion sites, you can convert the file to a different video file, or you can rip the audio file off of it and just save the audio. Uh, I really recommend this if you have something like a radio show that, that doesn't really have any kind of a video on behind it, or you just want to save it as an MP3, that's the easiest way to do it. Now, now I, I want you guys to promise me something here, because um, I know that you guys are all good citizens of the internet. So I want you to put your hands on the screen, and I want you to take the oath with me that you will only do this in the powers of good. <laughs> I tried to keep a straight face, I couldn't do it, I'm sorry.